Okay, this is uh, Davis Lock. Uh, I was just passing through here. I didn't launch here. Uh, while I was at Davis Lock, I did stop for some water. Uh, it's, it's a nice spot. It'd be a good place to camp. There's water, there's picnic tables. Uh, but uh, more importantly for the bigger boats, there's uh, shore power available. Uh, and it looks like there's a marina uh, not far away. Anyway, this is Davis Lock heading out. The uh, paddle starts off with a couple of uh, kind of dog legs, uh, zigs and zags through an area of nice uh, islands and channels. Uh, so a little bit of protected paddling to get the, uh, to get the trip started. Well, that's interesting. I thought this lake was going to be downwind so I'd be able to sail, but looks like I'm paddling upwind at least until that point of land. As you can see, there's some areas uh, on this trip with uh, some open fetch, so you want to be careful if you're in an open canoe or a smaller kayak. I actually should have put my spray skirt on for this. I wasn't expecting to need it. It's in the back with my uh, kayak cart. I was happy to come around this point and see that the wind was kind of coming from uh, beside me, a crosswind, which meant that I was going to be able to sail. Uh, not only was I going to be able to sail, but I was going to be able to sail pretty quickly. So a nice break from paddling. Sometimes it's harder at the end of the day. So when the wind's coming from the side like this, you call this a uh, beam reach or a reach. And on this boat, it's a really fast way to sail. So uh, pretty much as soon as the sail was up and I was pointing the direction that I wanted to go, uh, I was moving pretty quick. I was probably sailing at about five knots. This isn't gonna take long. People accustomed to sailing regular sailboats with uh, keels, uh, centerboards, or daggerboards might think, well, how do you do that with a uh, sea kayak without a leeboard? But uh, this boat actually has pretty good uh, resistance to slipping sideways. It's, it's long, 17 feet long, narrow with a V bottom and a skeg, and all that contributes to uh, letting her sail across the wind and fairly quickly and efficiently. So uh, then there's also uh, staying upright in these stronger winds. Once you're uh, used to kayak sailing, it's, it's not hard. You just lean up wind like you would with a sailing dinghy. Uh, and then uh, if there's a little bit of a gust that kind of knocks you over a bit, you use your paddle uh, to brace against the water. However, uh, you do want to practice in lighter winds. You don't want to go straight into winds like this uh, when you're first learning to kayak sail. There we go. A little less paddle dragging going on now. That was those uh, big uh, pumping gusts like that are oh, they're hard on any sailboat actually. Uh, boom bag would help. Uh, I've got a boom bag. I just haven't installed it yet. Once I was into the uh, more sheltered north end of the lake, uh, the sailing was a lot tamer. It was kind of coming up over my. Uh, left shoulder and I could just kind of relax and uh, let the boat do its thing and watch the world go by Looks like I accidentally took a shortcut through the weeds Which is fine the boat will sail through the weeds. It's not that easy to paddle in the weeds though. Yeah, this would be brutal to paddle in. It's been my experience that uh, these boats sail really well in very shallow water and weeds. Uh, just a couple of things you want to do is you don't want to paddle because the weeds will get all tangled around your paddle. And if you have a rudder, you want your rudder up because the weeds will get all caught around your rudder. But uh, yeah, it works pretty well. 
Oh well, looks like I'm going straight through the weeds. Sometimes the boat goes where you want, sometimes the boat goes where it wants. One thing I'm quite certain that I wouldn't want to do uh, in these uh, weeds like this is capsize because I'm sure the weeds would get all tangled around you, all tangled around the mast, and um, I, you know it might be hard to wet exit. So uh, if you're well, at all easy. concerned about the wind conditions or the tippiness of your boat, uh, I don't think I'd sail in the weeds, but you know, if there's a, a light wind and you're confident that you can stay upright, it seems to work. And here we are. See, I better turn around, take the sail down. Well, these two trees look like they might be about the right distance apart for a hammock tent. I'm not going any further today. Uh, the locks close at five, so then the noise of the power boat stops. Uh, this is the busiest lock station I've been at and I've been here a bunch of times and it's pretty consistently the busiest lock station. It's just it's really nice but, but so a lot of power boats spend the night here and it's between two really nice lakes. Yep this will work. This will work nicely. Uh, so I just need to put the fly on. So I'm just gonna relax for a bit before dinner but I'm kind of hungry so I'm just gonna have some peanuts and some water and and I'll start to think about dinner later, after five. I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking that uh, now that I'm here, I'm probably going to make some dinner over a stove or uh, on a barbecue or something or on a fire. So uh, I'm not going to uh, start a stove or start a fire and cook dinner over the, the fire. I'm actually going to have my dinner tonight at the Opinicon Resort, which is right beside... Um, Chafee's lock station. Lock station's down there. Okay. Uh, this is a really nice resort. A lot of the lock stations have, well, several of the lock stations have um, resorts uh, right by them, and a couple of the lock stations are in kind of neat little towns too. Here's the uh, bottom of the waterfall that the lock's going around. <clears throat> Not really a lot of water. Uh, this isn't uh, this isn't the Rideau River anymore. This is the Cataraki River, uh, which I think is a smaller river than the Rideau. It's pretty. Here's a quick look at a map of where I am. So I'm the little yellow dot in the middle of the map. Uh, so I'm just north of the city of Kingston, to the northeast of Lake Ontario. Here's a zoomed-in shot of the map of my kayak camping trip. Uh, this is the leg from Davis Lock to Chafee's Lock. All right, that's all I have. Thank you.